Hey, James Kingsley here. Um, in the first video of this series, we looked at how to set up your Google spreadsheet to act as a leaderboard so that you can send and receive data to it. And that data is going to include the username, their score, and then we're going to retrieve back from it uh, a list of the top 10 uh, users and their rankings, and along with the uh, how this user did and, and this user's ranking. So I'm going to jump right in. This video is about how to hook Storyline up to our Google Sheets leaderboard, but really the, the concept's the same for Cafe Lector or you know, if you're building it straight in HTML5. And I'll do some, some blog posts and videos on those later as well. Uh, but this should get you started. And if you're familiar with JavaScript, you can probably take a look through this JavaScript and see how we did it and apply it. Um, and if not, uh, I, I hope to have the Captivate and Lector versions out very soon. So let me jump in. I have a storyline file up already. And as I mentioned, we have basically three bits of data that we're going to deal with. So I've already created three variables here. I named a, uh, I have a username, and I have the user score, and then I have top 10. And you see these are text, text, and number here. I've made a, a very simple demo in storyline because the uh, like the demo that we're going to have on the website is very complicated with a lot of gaming in it and scoring and stuff. And I really wanted to just strip this down so that you can see the basics of what you need to do. Um, in this case, we're typing in the username and we're typing in the score. It's more likely that you're going to create a score based on the game and when it's done. Also, in this case, I'm displaying it all on one slide. That's all I have in here. But uh, I, I think this will be more useful for you to see how the mechanics of it, of it works. And you'll get this file in, in the download. So I have those two uh, fields here. These are two input fields. And then I'm displaying the top 10 message. Um, by default, I have that top 10 message just set up to say loading because it's going to take a second for the data to go to the Google servers and come back. So we just want to let the user know something's happening there. So uh, first thing I want to do is I want to come over to my uh, JavaScript that's going to be part of the download that you get. And it's commented in here so you can, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you're into JavaScript and you want to read through it and see what's going on, it's in there. Um, and the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure I have the URL of my spreadsheet here. Um, if you saw the last video, I'd already pasted it in there. I'll put it in here now. So that's the URL of, of my spreadsheet. And now I'm going to copy all this and I'm going to paste it in here. Um, I'm putting it on this button. It's likely that you'll have it like on a slide load so when they're done with the game and they go to the results of the game you're going to uh, run this JavaScript when that slide loads or something. Uh, in this case though I'm just running it when we click this button for the demo purposes. So I'm going to paste all that in there and hit OK. And OK. And let's publish that out so we can see how, how it looks. I'll pause this while, uh, while we do the publishing. All right, so it's published. Um, we could try to view it here, either the HTML5 or the Flash version, but it's probably not going to work when it's run locally because we're trying to send data back and forth from a server to our local machine. So it probably wouldn't work that way. Um, I uh, am running a web server on my machine, so I'm able to load it up here uh, under localhost. So this is what we just published out. We can see the username, user score here, and I'm just going to put in uh, today I'm going to be uh, Julian, and my score will be 99. So I'm just going to hit send and receive, and as you recall, that's going to run our JavaScript. And there it is. So it turn, returns back that I place number one with a score of 99. And the top one gamers are because we're the first person. Now, here's kind of a fun thing. If I go back to my Google spreadsheet, I can see it right there where it happened. So that's kind of cool that you can come back over there. And actually, it, it happens in real time. So I'm going to pull this off so that we can see them both at the same time. Maybe you can still see some of that. There we go. So I'm going to do it again. This time I'll be uh, Jake. And 
my school will be 88. And if you watch over here, boom, there it is. So it went from my local server up to Google and went on the spreadsheet. The code on the spreadsheet looked for the top 10 users and sent them back to our storyline. So there we go. Uh, if you want to get more into the JavaScript, I'll, I'll have some more details on that later. But if you just want to jump in and get going, I think that's a, a good overview of it. And it should give you enough to, to get a good, good jump on it. Thanks a lot.